This is Anthony with Next Reality, and this is a video for the tutorial how to spice up your UI using coroutines. So we've created our three simple scripts. Let's see what they look like in action. We've got our color changer and our scaler, our rotator, and now uh, the cool thing with these, you can actually apply more than one to each game object so you can combine them. Like here, we've got our color changer and our scaler. And this one I actually just went ahead and put all three on there and even added it to a compound game object. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I have no idea uh, what I would use this one for, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. All right, so the next few things I'll show you uh, were not part of this tutorial. They may be featured in an upcoming one, but it's really just more modifications on the scripts we already made. So one of the cool things with these coroutine effects is it doesn't have to just apply to the visuals. That's right. You can even apply these effects to your audio clips. You can slow them down. You can speed them up. You can do some really interesting things with crossfading dynamically. And what will the future of user interfaces look like? I think we're all still trying to figure that one out. But who knows? We might actually still be using drop downs. Look at that. We got little baby, baby objects inside of objects. That's cute. All right. So there's one more thing I'll show you uh, in this video and because I love audio. So first we're going to slow it down. Let's give it a little street cred. And I missed dropping the beat, but you kind of get the idea there. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, reach out to me, Anthony, and go check out Next Reality. All right, I think we are done with this video, right? That's, that's right. You can do it. That's, that's right.